Hey guys, before the tutorial starts, if you're here just for the tutorial and nothing else, I'll have timestamps in the description. But I suggest that you watch this through, uh, because we have some important topics to discuss. I'm going to talk about the game and a bit why this, this tutorial is so important. The tutorial, and then troubleshooting tips. So what is FNF Online? In short, it's a game where you play Friday Night Funkin' Blood Online, go figure. I covered this game pretty extensively in the last video I did for this game, although I should have another video up sometime after this, this one covering its new update. But one thing I'm seeing very often are people going out of the way to make themselves custom skins, which is great and all, but here's the problem. Do you see it? No? Well that's the point. See, when people make custom skins in this game, the enemy actually can't see it. Which is a little frustrating, uh, as the side effect actually hinders the playing experience by quite a bit. Not only does it lead to just less interactions with the opponent, but it's also harder to tell at a glance if the opponent is lagging behind or even there. Sure, there are signs that they are playing, but if I'm focused on a difficult chart, I don't have time to look over and analyze to see if my opponent is indeed there or not. Not to mention, having literally nothing there gets rid of the core reason people love Friday Night Funkin' to begin with. The personality. If you don't have a character to see, that's already half the personality gone. It feels null and void while you're playing and really discourages people to keep playing. There are times where if someone I'm playing doesn't have something to look at, I just kick them. And that's not something we want. But, there is a solution. All you have to do is put your custom skin inside a different character's folder, essentially replacing them. The reason this works is specifically because of the name. If the character you pick is Sonic, then it shows up as Sonic for the other player. Even if your version of Sonic is really something else. It's a simple solution, but every time I tell someone to do this in-game, they have no idea what I'm even talking about. It's like the char data folder means nothing to them. And I know I'm really preaching in the choir on this one, but seriously, if I can help out a few poor souls out there that know nothing about the inner workings of this game, then I'm doing a huge favor to the small player base we have on here, as well as any newbies that join us. Firstly, go into the char data folder located in the root of the game, and clear out a folder you want to use. Then copy the exact name from the folder to the character files you're using. For this example, I'm using Cupid from Cupid of Enough Mod. Uh, link in the description. And now open your game and into the character creator find in the options menu. From here, you're going to import your character files into the game. Make sure to import after you select the files, and import the sprites before the XML. From here, it's a very steady process of lining up the right actions to the poses, and putting pivot points on every frame. And yes, every frame. It's time consuming, but a little relaxing. I'll also say to keep your pivots steady. You don't want to just shift C and make it quick. Make sure to keep that pivot in the same general area all the way through each pose, and be mindful of where you're placing it. You don't want the character jumping all over the place when you play, but maybe there's a certain pose that would be better if they leaned into it a bit more, giving a bit, a bit of oomph to it. After all that is done, check your folder and if it looks like this, you're all set to take this into the actual game and test it out. Sadly, if the character doesn't come out to the way you want it, uh, you have to redo the whole process. It's something I've done on multiple occasions, however, if your folder looks a little off, here's where you need to troubleshoot. So here are some common issues while importing characters. Sometimes your folder will look like this. If your folder looks like this, that usually just means this character is incompatible with this mod. However, there's one method I use to sometimes fix this problem. All you have to do is take in any image editing software and export it as a new file. I am unsure why this even works for me, but sometimes it just does. Or sometimes a quick re-download can fix it. If this does not work for you, however, you're just out of luck. The next problem is the next problem others have is this. If you look at the names, they'll have an added 1000 to every frame. 
Obviously, this is not ideal, but it's a simple solution, albeit time consuming. Literally, all you have to do is rename each picture to be 1000 plus. So instead of left 1001, you have left 1. Again, simple, but time consuming. One thing you might have to do while doing all of the pivots is dealing with inverting your character. You want your character facing to the right when doing your pivots, while well, some face to the left. And all you have to do is check this box at the top. But this also means that whatever you connect to the right pose or the left pose needs to be swapped in order to work properly. And finally, the last thing that happens that I've encountered is when everything looks fine, but then all of a sudden you can't see your character while you're playing. And honestly, uh, this is a computer specific thing, as far as I'm aware. I've only dealt with this situation once with a buddy of mine, but this is easily fixed if you have a friend that can do this process for you and send it over. 